My name's Rebecca Burgess Dawson. I'm the National Clinical Lead for the Mental Health Programme at NHS England's Workforce Training and Education Directorate. I'm also an honorary nurse consultant in crisis resolution with South West Yorkshire Partnership, NHS Foundation Trust. The day job that I provide the country with is to try and give some educational and clinical steer to NHS England, but only as much as it relates to workforce training and education. So when it comes to the development of the next generation of health and social care professionals, I try and tell the team what it's like on the front line. I've got lots and lots of colleagues who work with me on that. And one of them got in touch and said, we're doing some amazing stuff at Sheffield. We're going to start looking at all of the new roles that have been developed over the recent few years in mental health. But here's the thing. We can have a little look at how they work together rather than independently. And if I could have wished for a research project that met my needs at that moment, it would have been this. Because up until now, I'd spent years, to be honest, creating new roles and adding them to a portfolio. So someone would come along and say, we need mental health intervention in schools because children are getting too mentally distressed and their families are struggling to cope too much before they come to mental health services. So what we need is some kind of practitioner in schools in the early part, in the mild to moderate space. So we invented education mental health practitioners and with our colleagues who created the mental health support teams, they went into schools. And we never thought about what that meant wider than that. We saw there was a need. We saw there was an evidence base for a skill set. We trained people in that skill set and placed people in that environment. And that really is only half a story because there are other people in that environment. There are teachers. There are parents and guardians. There are school nurses. There are health visitors. There are social workers. There are charities. There are the school clubs, there's the youth offending teams, there's all kinds of people involved. Never mind mental health and social care professionals more formally in child and adolescent mental health services. And all of these people are interacting with each other to provide a seamless service. And that's the bit that I wanted to investigate. How does it feel for the individual having all these people around and about?